Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. At this moment, it's 1.58 p.m., 1st of March, Wednesday, but we were done a long time ago. We are done for today. We still have a couple of three charts open, but the uh, rest is uh, all done. The ES, we still have one trade, and uh, we have one trade on the CL. And then another trade on the one minute chart CLV. This is the last trade on it for the afternoon session. I mean, today was not bad for uh, Wednesday. Usually they are boring days Wednesday, but uh, it was okay. Nothing special, nothing, no crazy numbers, but uh, just normal smooth day. Uh, on the Nasdaq one minute, I'm not going to bring all the charts, but on the Nasdaq one minute, 300, uh, I'm sorry, on the 300 ticks is 4,000 on one trade. Those are the morning session. And uh, you can see the auto trade was finished at 10 o'clock. They all started uh, somewhere around uh, 830. And uh, this one here was done by 1007, half an hour after market opened. And this one, it was done around 11.12, uh, the ES 600 takes, beautiful trade, one shot, and it was done in uh, uh, 1975. Uh, on the DAX also, uh, it was done around 12 o'clock, 5,600 euro. And then 2,400, it was done by 10.30 on the NASDAQ. And then, um, uh, on the seven range, uh, we were done around 11.23. And then uh, on the NASDAQ 100 ticks, 23.95. And it was done in no time from 8 o'clock. And then on the NASDAQ 12 range, we were done at 8.47, 2,900. And uh, this one here, also the morning session, the CL 43830. Uh, and then uh, we have the 2800 on the NASDAQ 400 takes. And this one here is beautiful uh, on the YM8 range from uh, the morning session. And uh, we were done. Also, the European session was amazing. Uh, 3100 for the US session. And then uh, we have uh, 2,400, 2,200 on the CL, uh, seven range, and it was done also, all of them, they're done is about the same time. It doesn't matter what uh, time frame or what kind of instrument, you notice they're all done in one time, depends on the market movement. Not the auto trade, it depends on the market movement. On the CL uh, 200 takes, uh, we were done around 10.38 and it's 2200. And then the 2400 uh, and it also done around, uh, this one is a CL. The CL is doing a great lately, a lot of uh, good moves on the CL 11.42. And then uh, we have the CL uh, 300 takes. It was done also by around 11 o'clock at 10.51, and it was 27.50. For the market analyzer, we have five different automated trades. And uh, it's a base from the last entry signal based on one contract. We have 22 ticks into the profit based on one contract. On the NASDAQ, we have 80 ticks into the profit and 55 takes into the profit on the CL, and 57 takes into the profit uh, on the YM. And uh, those are the auto trade for the market analyzer. And as an example, uh, the ES is uh, taking a trade here is 550 because there is two contracts. And here there is 300 because based on one contract. What you see on the market analyzer, you can auto trade it. Let's take another example. On the YM, this is another YM. 
on the YM, on the market analyzer, based on the last entry signal, not the whole day, 40, 50 takes, 250. And here is two contract, you double up the amount because the market analyzer is uh, based on one contract. And then if we take another example also on the Russell, it's the same story. If we look at the Russell, um, uh, there is 340, 350. If we look under the Russell, 38 takes 195. This is two contract 400. And this is uh, the market analyzer. I have five different type of automated trade from ATM to ATM strategy to the FIB re-entry lines. Also the system can, if he sees the market is trending, he extend the target. It's not a dummy auto trade based on what where is the target. If you notice, if this uh, market trending, the auto trade extend the target automatically. And uh, when it gets to this level, it start playing between back and forth if we can get more, uh, the, the, if the market is trended, the target extend automatically. And if it's not, then stop or maybe go back a few takes. Maybe we can see it in action right now as we see here. And uh, at this moment is uh, targeting at, on the Fib line at 39.51 and look, if there is the market, if the auto trade think the market is gonna go farther, then it's going to drop a few more ticks uh, and uh, trying to extend the target. If the market not trending, then uh, the target stay where it is. So let's see if this market change direction, uh, change numbers, let me see. It's 39.51 to close on the ES. Well, let's give it a couple minutes. In the meantime, uh, the uh, the M strategy, uh, which is the latest auto trade we released, is uh, uh, all of them. They hit the target, uh, but I want to see if this one here we can see it uh, extended the target. But uh, we will put it on the side and try uh, to bring down uh, the. Uh, the M strategy, you can use it for a micro. Uh, they all hit uh, the target. You can decide how many contracts you want. And uh, we, the, this is not swing trading, so it will be uh, taking one contract at the time and then average the price if it's needed. This is a high advanced auto trading and um, we can bring all of them down and it's the same story and they all hit the target, which this is where we put the new traders on because it's a friendly use, does not require too much work and then uh, uh, a trader can be start with this auto trade and it's a very forgiving auto trade and um, it is easy to control uh, and, uh, and it get adjusted with the target automatically if you are in trouble. It does not require tweaking. I'm using straight out of the box. I'm not, uh, the, all, all those, um, uh, charts, they're not optimized. It's just straight out of the box uh, with a different time frame. And uh, we can go on and on. They all uh, hit the target. 
uh, for our traders, uh, we we send you the scalper and uh, we send the template for the scalper and uh, this is a total different type of an auto trade and uh, this is the scalper today uh, 1500 those the same template we have sent to you uh, 3700 on the scalper on the cl200 those are all of them all the templates we made on monday they hit the target every single one of them hit the daily target and some of them uh, they were uh, redone three times and four times in one day and they keep hitting the same targets and then reactivate the auto trade and let it uh, take the trades again no sorry this is a uh, nasdaq as i'm testing the 15 this is not the rest is the scalper you can see on the left upper corner uh, it is the scalper on this one here is the signal and on this one here is the m strategy and this one here is the bbt there is 20 auto trade in the package i cannot cover every single auto trade it depends what kind of trader you are how advanced you are how well you know the market it's not just an auto trade it's also how much you know about the market because also it's important to know when to start when to stop and uh, how to look at the market every single day which we try our best to give support but of course the rest is up to you folks uh, if you notice on the es just took a half a tick further down it was 39.51 and took it just uh, 50, uh, 0.5 down and uh, because the market is not trending so the the trend or the target is adjustable self-adjustable target it's not a just a black box like what you are used to on uh, whatever auto trade you have everything here it is adjustable itself and uh, and of course after 15 years development we have learned a lot how uh, to train traders how to approach the traders and um, and of course in 15 years we learn how to adapt to the market and uh, keep up with the latest uh, technology and um, uh, and I'm, I'm very pleased what we have gotten for the last few years uh, we become a very high advanced uh, with the auto trading uh, after all the market is risky also you have to be aware of it it's not just um, a piece of cake uh, also there is a lot of risk involved maybe some of you uh, should not be trading permanently so depends on the person uh, i don't want to get into this but also uh, it's not uh, trading it's not a just picnic you know you need to put a lot of work you need to learn uh, how the market the rhythm um, you don't need to learn the price action but you need to understand the basics Folks, that's all what we have, and uh, we thank you very much, and we wish you a pleasant evening. Bye for now.